So I'm actually excited to revisit this. Curse of the Dead Gods. Again, this is another roguelike. It is early access. Our game is still in development and we intend to add new features and content regularly thanks to your feedback and suggestions. Are you ready to enter the temple and suffer? Absolutely. There we go. Perfect. So again, when I first played this game, I was not very good at it. Um, I still feel like there's some aspects to it I don't quite understand. But that was before the last update. So maybe it's actually in a better spot now than it was. You love this game? That's good. Maybe that's why I need is just people who understand the game. <laughs> a little bit of backseating never hurt anybody. Alright, so I believe gold is really important because you can't get the relic without using an actual curse. And then weapons are also really important in this game. So let's try this. I'm going to assume going for gold is like the easiest thing to do. Alright, so curse of dead gods. Uh, this is a roguelike. I actually really like it because it reminds me of the Tomb Raider uh, and Temple of Osiris games. Uh, the difference between this game and other roguelikes, A, there's a stamina bar. B, it's really important to consider the light. I think it's bonus damage taken. Wow. See, like, I've already taken way too many hits. But I gotta be okay, like, about dying in this game. Like, we're gonna learn how to play this eventually. I just, I gotta say, like, I am not used to dying in video games. I think the big thing... Is making sure that... I mean, obviously getting hit can be a problem in any game. But making sure that you dodge roll properly in a game like this. Uh, plus four to my highest attribute. I don't really know how stats work in this game either. New gun. Poison attacks? Did I actually pick it up? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we got a poison shot now. I think this, the combat is more like a puzzle. You need the right combination of actions to make it right. So I was watching um, Horisto. This is kind of why I wanted to get back um, on this game and give it another try. Was I was watching Horisto on YouTube and he seems to be okay with this game. Um, and I want to be able to get to that level. Controls the servants of the gods he has defeated. Their champions, their watchers, their hopes, and their fate. All jaguar statues now trigger fireballs. Okay. Um, so in this game... Curses appear all throughout the game. And really, you are trying to mitigate all this curse. There is a parry button. So I'm not sure if perhaps I need to be doing parry more often. Uh, I guess I can't parry without a shield. I don't remember that.
You can. L2 is parry. Okay. As I miss it. Ow. Tried to parry that. I don't know if it's worth it to learn the timing. I feel like it should be. Of course, it could be the case where you can't parry everything. But when I was watching Horisto play, like, there was a lot of parrying going on. So I feel like that's something that I probably should learn. Just gonna pay gold here. Alright. Still no music in this game, huh? Alright, let's go... Doesn't really matter. Alright, so you can also hold down the attack. Usually helpful. And there's also a lot of fire in this game. Enemy attacks deal less corruption. Thank you. Corruption, of course, leads to more curse. It's exactly like Dead Cells. At first, you think you need a rush, then you realize that the slower you get, the better the gameplay. Yeah, I definitely have some learning to do for this game. I just... I'm not used to dying. And there's a combo meter, so like, it makes me want to rush even more because there's a combo meter. Can I break this? No. Uh, do I play platformers like Dead Cells or Skull? Well, Dead Cells is my main game. I've never played Skull. Uh, but we did play Celeste earlier in February. And that was actually really good. I gotta get the buttons down. Like, I actually tried to attack with R1. But yeah, normally I play Dead Cells. It's just today I'm on a mission to get good. Wow. <laughs> okay. See, that's why I like this game. Uh, this exploration aspect to it is um, something that I haven't had in a long time since, like, us playing Tomb Raider. Alright, new weapon. I mean, it is certainly easier if I take my time. But you all know me about taking my time. I just wish there was music in this. Will I play the new Ori? I didn't play the old one. 
I did not play the first game. Will it burn out? There we go. What's the offhand combo like? It's like a three hit with a stab at the end. Uh, the held attack though is pretty decent. All right. No, 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 no. Look at that damage. We're Yo, dead. thank you, Goemon. Follow on the channel. Welcome. Deals critical damage against elites and bosses. Instead of having the poison. Hmm. I'll try it. I actually have not beaten a boss in this game yet. I think I only have like two hours of game time, maybe an hour 30. The third tool tip in the top left, you can attack with two weapons together. Perform a secondary attack after a series of main hand attacks to trigger an offhand combo. Oh, it's that. That's actually kind of sick. So it's your gun. Is your offhand. I actually had no idea that that was a thing. So thank you, Partial, for making me look at that. Just jumped in and thought you were talking about giant killer. We got kind of a giant killer just now. Um, I don't know if it's going to be as good. It does deal bonus damage to bosses and elites. Enemies killed while burning explode after a short time. Okay. Still wish there was music in this game. I might pull up uh, Pretzel Rocks. Yeah, let me do that right now. We have, uh... Not brand new emotes, they've been out for a little while. But I think you all seem to like them. So you got the V dot... F. But you might have to get that ready soon. V dot high, V dot kek. Oh wow, I did not think I was gonna be in that. That's okay. See, that's what Kellen was talking about, about understanding what the fight's gonna take. I didn't understand Jack Squad just then. All I did was walk in and start swinging. Fire, good. Oh, get destroyed. Wow, collateral damage. I did not know what was happening just then. Bonus damage for swords, okay. Is this an elite? I can't tell if that was critical damage or not. Open up. I will be able to heal on the next map if I survive.
Do I heal first? Wow, you do. Holy crap. Wow, healing costs curse. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Alright, what do you got? Some plebs. Um, I think I need to kill this. Gotta watch the stamina. See, this is one of the few roguelites that has a stamina bar. I don't know if there's a lot of those. Didn't see that coming. That was like one of the first things to keep, uh, to learn. Gain 100% of damage taken in gold. Wow. Two percent base damage per level of relics carried. Chance to inflict fire damage. Okay. So this game actually does have a lot of different weapons. There's a pretty decent uh, weapon variety. So my real issue with the game right now is survivability. Like, learning how to live is the number one thing I need to do. Nice. He destroyed the flame! <laughs> the flame! I believe being in light actually reduces the damage you take or monsters deal extra damage for darkness or something like that. Relic or unknown? I'm gonna guess relic. <laughs> Taking damage causes hallucinations. Excellent. I deal with hallucinations every day. This is fine. Yeah, monsters don't typically get interrupted either. By attacks. Wow. Okay, that kind of scared me. No! Okay. All right, chillin'. No secrets. Gotta dodge roll. Okay. Oh my god. I got destroyed just then. I have to kill this thing. I don't even know how much health I have.
Oh, I'm actually pretty good on health right now. Famous last words. <laughs> Maybe that's the hallucination. Oh my goodness. As I said, there is a parry in this game. When I was watching Haristo play, I feel like 25% chance to automatically parry? Oh, now I don't have a gun. I wonder if I can just do this. So you upload a video on YouTube for Scorchbringer, how do I like it? You play it some, but it's really hard. It is really hard. Um, I want to say we 100% the early access so far. Um, so right now, I think I'm waiting for the next patch. Now, that's not to say that I might be wrong. There might be more I could be doing, and I just don't know. Uh, but that's my current thought on the game, is perhaps it is very early access right now. Uh, but once you max out everything, you can probably get some wins. And it's fun to get wins. Um, just like unlike Dead Cells, where each run will feel very different because of your build. Uh, Scorchbringer doesn't have that yet. At least as far as I know. Restore max health when a curse is lifted. Increase stamina. Heal 2% of your health if an enemy is killed by the environment. Um, when a curse is lifted? I actually don't know what it means for a curse to be lifted. I don't know if I've actually lifted a curse in this game. Alright. Boss time. I actually don't know if there's boss music. Let's pause Pretzel Rocks and find out together. I do have the giant killer. Wow. It's real good. I'm trying to take out these pups. I tried to shoot the pup. Forgetting that I don't have the ability to shoot anymore. That's the critical damage. The 75s. That's actually kind of legit. Oh, the flame! The damage. Should have known better. The giant killer does real damage, though. I should just go for the kill. There we go. All right. Full heal on killing the enemy. That was actually like way, way too close. Was there music during the boss? I already like blanked out and don't remember. The warp. Yeah, there was. Okay, cool. 
So really the only thing we have an issue with is like regular game music. The void. We're entering, this is what, Annihilation with Natalie Portman? Oh, we just... Was that a win? <laughs> okay. Um... This is a real confidence booster. Because I actually... And this is probably baby mode. I'm sure it's gonna be even harder. Uh, I actually think I did really bad. Uh, but if that's a victory, then we might be in okay shape. I have 39 crystal skulls. I can't check codex or stats. See, this is all new right here. They didn't have this the last time I played this game. I can only equip two. I didn't realize. Okay. That's fine. I am perfectly okay with that. Oh. Okay. Eclipse of the Cursed Twins. Uh, I think we have enough time to do this. This might be the last thing we do for the night. Especially if we die in Stream Raiders. What is this? This is Curse of the Dead Gods. Uh, we actually played this back in the 15 days of streaming. But the game is now in uh, global early access. Um, and they've done some updates. So it's actually a lot better than it was back when we played it.